Hi everyone and Happy New Year. Welcome to Pretty Business TV where we exploit everything pretty and expose the not so pretty. I'm your host Erica Presley and we are filming downtown at the Trenton Social. Yay! Today we have joining us special guest host Tyrone Miller of the Ty Chrome Miller Show. I'm a guest host? You're a guest host, Ty. I made it to guest hostness. Yeah, what's up PVTV? I bet y'all don't expect to see me here, man. Because I'm not the prettiest dude in the world. But thank you for having me, baby. Appreciate it. Come on. you. <laughs> the, the show is really in the works because of you. Don't stop. Come on, can stop that, man. Let's just focus on what's going on today. True. It's about PDTV, baby. True, true. PDTV. <laughs> we also have joining us Miss Jossie Edwards, community activist of Trenton, New Jersey. How are you, Jossie? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. I got, I got scared of okay. Ty is about to turn the show out, so I hope you guys are prepared. Yeah. I apologize in advance if you, you are. You apologize. In you you bought me on. You bought me on, man. This is what yeah. you expected. Good times. Good times, baby. That's right. Good time. High five. How's the show? Oh, the show is going great, man. Yeah. I got a lot of people coming up. Got some little set designs I'm working on. You know what I mean? Because ever since PBTV's been on, I had to step up my set game, man. So I had file cabinets behind me, but it ain't gonna really work. Cause you know, it took Trentonian TV to the next level. True. All this, all you know what I mean. So I got to step up my game. I mean, so that's thank a good, you. You're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate. High five again. You want one too? Get a high five. Get a high five. Get some of that. Yeah. Right high five. Baby. High five the camera. Bang. All in your face, baby. That's what it is. Yeah. So thank you for having me, man. The show's no going problem. great. Thank um, you. New Year's going excellent, man. How about your New Year's? What you do? I, st I went to a party with the family. I did some mean karaoke. Nice. You know what I, mean? I did uh, Rick James, Give It To Me Baby. Oh. And I'm really murdered it. We so now I want to shout out the people that was there. Y'all know who y'all are. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. I had a whole dance going and all that. Nice. She's been there. She's been there. It was dope. Jossie, what you do for me, baby? I had a ladies' night. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Ladies' night? Yeah, we had Ooh. ladies' night. Brought in New Year's with all my best girlfriends. And just yeah, hung out. That was so cool. Nice. That's nice what community relaxing. activists do. Nice. Community activists just get with they their should, girls. Right? Yeah, yeah. Who was y'all talking about? Revolutionary stuff? No, we were relaxed. <laughs> we were real chill. Yeah. Music. Oh, y'all. We had a good time. We had a good time. Did y'all drink? Do, 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 do revolutionaries drink? <laughs> I'm good. sorry. That's a good question. I'm, I'm not even a comedian. I don't drink hey, that, yeah, that, that much, but occasionally. Yeah. 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 We had, we had so, a couple drinks. So if you got a little tipsy, what would you say? Like, you know, power to the people, just random <laughs> no. power, to, power to the people. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I consider girl. myself a revolutionist. I'm just doing the right thing. It's True. Should. Absolutely. I agree. Promoting that pretty business. I got it. Yeah. Agree. Say, give her a try. <laughs> no, 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 promoting no, that no, pretty no, business, no, baby. No, 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 promoting that pretty business. So, like Jackie, are you are you ready for the interview? Do you want to get started? Yeah. So we're going to interview Jossie based on her activities throughout Trenton. She, um, did you start the march? I remember you from Tyrone's show. She had the march going on for Marching for Violence. So that really just like set her apart from the from different youth in the city. We see that she's doing positive events. Um, this coming Saturday is the team masquerade party that she's going to speak on. So we just want to pick her brain a little bit and see where she's going with this. So, Jossie, if you don't mind introducing yourself for those people who still don't know. I'm Jossie Edwards. I don't know what I can <laughs> say. Community activist. Um, Where are you from? From Trenton, lifelong resident, born and raised. So fast. And so what is your vision for the city of Trenton? Um, just for everyone to, to work together and bring back that neighborly love like how it used to be when I was growing up. Okay. Know, caring for everyone's kids. It takes a village to raise a child, and it should yeah. still be that way. But That's right. Together, we're stronger and divided, we'll fall. So, you know, we need to work together and uh, take some responsibility. Uh, Absolutely. So, when did you decide that you wanted to organize events? Um, I've been organizing events for some time. It's just, um, I guess, my motives kind of changed, my vision kind of changed before it was. Um, we used to organize events to raise money for a fashion show in the city. They okay. get a lot of um, the youth involved and get their dreams started. People that wanted to be performers and um, fashion designers, fashion uh, like models and everything. Okay. But um, it kind of changed a little bit. Now it's just like a more of a family thing because of the background I come from. Right. Um, like I've been through things in my life and that pretty much leads me to this. And I'm real big on family, thanks to my dad, you know, he, he's real big on family. He's all about sticking together. Mm -hmm. And I believe, like, everything starts from home. Everything, right. whether it's shooting, killing, fighting, fighting in school, it all starts from home. It's a lack of something. You're missing something. So these parents need to be more involved in their kids. These kids need to be more open with their parents. The parents need to trust them more. 
and give them more responsibility. Stop That's being kids' friends and be more of a parent to them. Right. You know, support Church. them and encourage them. Don't discourage them and put them down. Be more involved in your lives. So that's what um, I'm doing now. Well, right now I'm in the fundraising stage, um, raising funds to get my business up and running um, and support other people's mentoring programs and youth programs in the recreation centers that's lacking the funding from the city and from the state that they need to you know, get into these homes, get into these kids' lives, and give them more opportunities to you know, thrive in the city. Right. So. Okay. So one of the events that you're currently organizing is the Team Next Great Party that I spoke on. How did, what made you come up with that idea? Um, I'm sort and of a, I'm sorry, briefly, okay. just briefly tell everyone what the Team Next Great it's Party a, really is. It's, um, it's a masquerade etiquette party. It's about introducing formality, chivalry, manners, respect, and proper etiquette to the kids. Because, um, you know, it's not something that they learn in school anymore. When I was in the sixth grade, I learned uh, proper etiquette and chivalry. And I'm sort of an old-fashioned person. I like my chair to be, you know, pulled out for me and my door to be open for me. And I say please and thank you. Like, manners and respect is a big thing for me, and that's something that the city greatly lacks. And the lack of self-respect. Because if you don't respect yourself, you're not going to respect other people. And that's what's happening, and these kids need that. So that's the whole motive for that. Okay. And what's the criteria to get in? Um, masquerade wear, formal wear, casual, you can dress up. We're going to be selling masquerade masks okay. on site. Um, you, like, even if you come in a black or white suit, because some people will learn about it, like, on their way, get right. a phone call from their friends. We'll have a box of ties. That's our, our requirement for you to get in. You okay. know, you have to get nice. If you can't, it's a great requirement. Yeah, if you that can't is. go home, if you're not able to go home and get changed and come back, if you have a box of ties, and if you don't want to wear it, then I'm sorry, you can't get it. And it's 18 and under? Yes, it's not all high school. You need a high school ID, you get in. It's only $10. All the money and proceeds go back into the community. Okay, nice. Y'all hear that, ladies and young teens and young gentlemen, step it up. You know? Become the young ladies and the gentlemen that we, you know, that we like to see. That females and, and men would love to see, would love to grow up and be a part of their lives, not just these hoodlums. Everything you see on TV, that's not real life. So all the teens, if you know anybody, it's happening this sat this Saturday. You guys probably won't see this video until afterwards, but we're sure it's going to be a, a great success. The Teen Masquerade Etiquette Party. And it's at the YMCA? Yes. Okay, the YMCA on Pennington Avenue. So, I have a question. Or people you get ties to, they, they, you going to be tied already? Because a lot of people don't know how to tie ties. I'm just saying. I don't teach them how to tie a tie. I know how to tie a tie. You know how to tie a tie? Nice. I like, I like actually wearing them. <laughs> I like wearing ties. I don't know. I think it's cute. You like wearing ties? <laughs> yeah. You're an activist. That's what activists do. I don't do. know. I just like wearing yeah. ties. Like, Malcolm X. I have a weird fashion sometimes. Martin Luther King, we all wear ties. They all wear ties. Just follow women in the league. I understand. Al Sharpie. Yeah, that's what's up. How's the tie thing going? <laughs> so, do you have any influence of other community leaders in the city, or was everything just branched off from your personal experience during your family time? Everything was branched off from my personal experience, and how we actually got started was um, my cousin Jocelyn Stewart, the one that I did the march with, came okay. to me, because um, this year alone, between the both of us, we lost two cousins, I lost three cousins all together this year. And um, that kind of sparked the whole march against gun violence we had November 4th. And then after that, I'm like, you know, I always wanted to not be a politician, but to be in that forefront as a leader in the city and turn it around. So I'm like, you know, I'm, I was going to wait until this month, but I'm like, we're doing it now. Something's going to start now. But I wait until the new year. You know, prom doesn't wait, so I'm not going to wait. That's right. I just thought, like, you know, somebody has to step up. Nobody else in my age group is. And that's the that's what we're lacking, the youth in the city. Because the, all the adults in churches are already on board. It's just the kids and teens and young adults that's not. It's the pe right. people we trying yes. to reach out to. That's, that's, that's right. the hardest part. Our future you, leaders. Don't mind me asking how old you are. 24. Okay. And that's, that's really inspiring to know that someone, when I was 24, I definitely wasn't trying to save the world, save the community. So for someone to be, you know, of your age and to be actively involved with a child is very commending. Like, I applaud you 100% because it does start with the youth. And I hope that other youth will see it and, like, and just get a great example of what you're doing. Yeah, they love it. Like, you know, when we first started it and we first announced it on Facebook, 
like to our surprise, like it was a big surprise that a lot of people in our age group and younger jumped right on board. Like, how right. can I help? I'm gonna be involved. I'm nice. gonna march. Let, when can I buy a T-shirt? And I'm like, we got so overwhelmed so many times, like brought to tears because wow. it was crazy how much support we received, like nice. immediately. Very positive. So, um, lastly, what do you hope to accomplish with everything you're doing with your work um, for the city? Bringing more funding in the city, getting people to see that, you know, you're the future leaders of the city. You need to start taking back these jobs, become entrepreneurs, get off these streets, because the streets is not where it's at. You, you know, like, I'm from the hood. I'm from the hood, and I lived in Trent all my life, born and raised, but it's not where you're from, it's what's in here that matters the most. And That's if, right. If you lack that, that positive mindset, you'll always be stuck on that corner, in that hood, you know? I agree. So it's just... I'm trying to get into the mindsets of people and, and make, you know, men and women out of them and see that, you know, we're our future leaders of this city. Do you want somebody outside of the city to come in here and take all of our jobs like they've been doing and, and tell us what to do instead of us getting out there and doing it ourselves, taking responsibility and getting active in our community? So. Well, if you ever need people to be there to help you, we're definitely be along for the ride. PBTV. Thank you. In, inside phone number. No, no. Show. PBTV. Get that phone number, man. That's all about PBTV today. So if you need us, I'm not like a, a co-host yeah, specialist. Yeah, sure. So yeah, anytime you anytime. need a crazy co-host, you call me when we're doing something for Jazzy, the community activist. Okay. Guys. We're going to all wear ties, though. <laughs> okay. So let the people know where they can follow you and, and hear the message. We have an email address for Blast. You can give all of your social contact information. Okay. Um. Well, I have uh, my business Facebook page, The Voice of Detroit, at Facebook.com, Voice of Detroit, at YML.com. If you need to email me for any type of information, whether you have an idea or need to find out something from me, we can help each other. I'm great to help with people I like being involved in the community. So, um, just you can find me on Facebook, even on my personal page, Johnson McCarr. I'm on both pages. Okay, nice. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed our first episode of Pretty Business TV of 2013. Yay! Thank you for to Ty Chrome Miller Crazy Self for being our, our special guest host. Thank you to Jossie Edwards for coming on and speaking with Thank us. Thank you for having me. Oh, no problem. <laughs> and until then, next time, everyone, keep it pretty, and I'll see you later. <laughs>